The 4th of July is approaching, and with that, families are thinking about maybe buying some of their own fireworks to shoot off in celebration. It could be a good time, but it can also be dangerous. So we thought we'd bring in an expert here to talk about a little firework safety. This is David Rosenbaum, who's the president of Illumination Fireworks. He's here with some tips on making it safe for your family. Now, I gotta ask you first. You're 22 years old, and you're the president of a pyrotechnics company. How does this come about? You've been told not to play with fire your whole life as a kid, and suddenly you do it for a living. That's true. Well, most kids are always told not to play with fire for the you know as, uh, weather going up. But uh, my dad and I always loved fireworks. We'd always go out and shoot fireworks legally. Um, I started working at a fireworks stand, got involved in the industry, got invited to help on to produce some of these large shows, and uh, learned the business and found ways to improve. So my dad and I started the the business when I was 19. And here you are, and you're producing major shows. Now, we're not talking just setting <laughs> off in the, in the backyard, but you're doing them for all different size shows. But today we want to just talk about some good tips safety-wise. The Consumer Products uh, Safety Commission always puts out every year the warning video about be careful with your sick fireworks. Look what can happen. You can blow your hand off. You can blow up a watermelon. I know I'm not supposed to get excited about this because it's a safety video, but I kind of love just watching stuff blow up. <laughs> <laughs> I like this video. But, it is potentially very dangerous, so you've got some suggestions for people, some safety tips that they can take if they are going to do it on their own. Absolutely, and, and we want everybody to be safe. Even though we do professional shows, we don't sell consumer fireworks. We want everybody to, to be safe with them, to use them legally, and not get in trouble. So with that saying, they are illegal in the city of Dallas and most other cities. Uh, in the city of Dallas, you can't shoot even within 5,000 feet of the city limits, and it's up to $2,000 fine per citation. So, $2,000 if you shoot right. off within 5,000 feet of the city limits Correct. or inside or the city so, so this is only if you're living in the outskirts or you're going out, but if you do go out, what are some things we need to have on hand? Well, first is a bucket of water. So if you run into, you know, small fire or anything like that, take care of it you know, yourself with uh, have some water on on the uh, on site there. Especially if you're out in a in a field or somewhere where you're not close to a house because you don't want to be close to a house. Right. You need to have water with you. Right, and having you know the grass mode and the area that you're shooting in. Don't want to shoot in tall, dry grass. You also don't want to ever uh, make your own fireworks. So uh, obviously this is a prop here, but uh, um, you know you don't want to make anything yourself. That's illegal and, and obviously very dangerous. That's where a lot of accidents happen. Um, um, you know, if, when you're lighting them, you want to have a, uh, you know, a lighter um, and light the very tip of the fuse. If you light down here, you're not going to have as much time to get away. Yeah, with a small handheld lighter, it's harder to control. Right. So if you use so one of these long tips, distance. good. And then, of course, protective eyewear. Right, exactly. Very important. Yeah, so have, have your safety glasses. You don't want to have any part of your body over the fireworks or over any of the tubes or anything like that because that's where you can uh, lose a limb. All right, well, let's talk about some of the things sure. that are available, maybe some that are a little more kid-friendly and safe if you are going to go out and purchase some. Right, yeah. Um, well, these are all smaller things here. Even though they look a little bit bigger, these are fountains. So we're going to light it. It's just going to do a spray of sparks. It's not going to have big aerials or any, any big bangs. Uh, we have some sky rockets, um, just different things, smoke balls, ground bloom flowers, all things that stay on the ground. When you have kids, you, you want to have as many things to light you know, as possible. You know, it makes the whole experience last a little bit longer. So kids just like to see the smaller things, the tanks that go on the ground and whatnot. Yeah, I remember this as a little kid. I loved the tanks because they'd, they'd roll and they'd, they'd blow up. And right. It got the point, but it's not going to really do any major damage. Right. So yeah, kids love those kinds of things. Uh, as you move along uh, and get into the little bit bigger stuff for the, the older kids or the adults, uh, you have the artillery shells, which are famous. Uh, you always want to make sure you put this end down um, and have the fuse hanging up just like that. So that goes into the tube just like that. Another safety thing is to have a board, something like this, that goes over the tube. You always want to stabilize it. So you fireworks. want to stabilize the things before you do it. All right. Well, if you are going to be enjoying fireworks, you might not want to risk doing it yourself. So you can always come see the big time show. Where's the show you guys are sponsoring this uh, year? Well, we're doing, we're doing eight displays this year. The biggest one is going to be Frisco Freedom Fest, and that'll be at Pizza Hut Park uh, about 945. It's all synced with the music, ran by a computer. Fantastic. Great show. Frisco Feed Bar. If you want to get the details, if you want to find out about how to have them come out and do an event for you, do some fireworks, you can check them out at illuminationfireworks.com or call 214-674-1465. We appreciate you being here. Keep Thank it you safe very much. this year. I appreciate it.